platters. And I said, I don't believe that. And finally, after a year and a half of him pecking at me and you, I did it. And I don't want to get into details. It didn't happen the next day like it does for most people. It happened two days later when I was at Alamo Draft House, about to walk in to see a movie. And I said, excuse me one minute to my friends. I was out with my kids. I made them sit out there on the bench and I went in. And I'm not going to get into details, but let me, it's like a horror movie. <laughs> and, 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 I'm, and I had the black balls, which they say is even worse than the green ones. Oh, don't put it on screen. The point is, no wonder these things rupture. Because your body is trying to process stuff that isn't natural. It just balls it up. It doesn't know what to do. So I interrupted you. Start over with what happened uh, to you, sir, uh, Jim. Well, Alex, mine were actually tan stones, and I had a bunch of stuff that looked like grit and sand that came out as well. And uh, uh, well, uh, to be to be short, I had had so much pain under my right rib cage, Dr. Group, that it felt like you know it was popping in there. And I, if I pushed on it, I could actually feel popping. Well, now my guess is I had so many stones in there that they were grinding against each other. God. I did this thing with, that you suggested, got the liver cleanse, and I turbo boost. I did some research on the Internet, and I turbo boosted it by doing Epsom salts as well. And I passed, it had to have been easily 100 stones. And today, I feel better than I did 30 years ago. I have more energy. And when I urinate, I can smell it, actually, from feet away. So I know my body is just blowing toxins out that, the bile ducts must have been previously completely blocked up or something. Well, you know, you, I, just, I forgot. I called group the next day and I said, I didn't pass the stones. And he goes, you may have to do another one. You may be really backed up. And he said, I tell you what, go to the store, get the little uh, caplets, get Epsom salts and take five or six of those tonight. And then that was the next day it did it. But I had to take the Epsom salt. I forgot. So I guess that's how you turbocharge. When do you recommend you take the Epsom salts uh, for people like Jim and I. Well, we actually added the Epsom salts to the actual program itself. So the day that you get, you drink the olive oil, earlier in the day, around 1 or 2 in the afternoon, we have you do the Epsom salts, mix them in water, and drink that down. And then later in the evening that day, which is the flush day, is when you drink the 4 to 6 ounces of olive oil, of course, cold-pressed organic olive oil. And the reason why the oil, olive oil is included and the reason it works so good is because it's like oil pulling, which is an ancient Ayurvedic tradition of, of circulating oil in your mouth, and it pulls toxins out. So what happens when you drink that much olive oil, it goes in, it goes through the liver, you're lying on your right side, and it's, it, the, the four days beforehand when you're taking the liver shield, what you're doing is you're softening all the stones. You're turning them into sponge-like stones. You're opening the liver. And you're breaking them into little littler pieces and the gallbladder. And so that day, the the heavy amount of oil from the olive oil is actually going to contract and squeeze, almost like you have a sponge full of water, and you squeeze that out. Without the olive oil, you don't ever get that squeezing effect. Well, sure, but I mean, this out. is sensational. This should have been on Oprah and Dr. Oz. I didn't believe it when, when you guys were telling me. I just said, come on, I'm not going to have green balls come out. Okay, so think of all the money spent on gallbladder surgeries every year. Think of how many people have their gallbladders taken out every single year. I don't have that estimate in front of me, but I know it's it's ex there's billions. millions and billions and millions of dollars. Uh, it's got to be billions. It's got to be billions. So I why, mean, total health care is like some ridiculous number, like five hundred billion a year or something. So if you could save your gallbladder for five dollars, let's say with five dollars worth of olive oil. You know, what we're doing is actually making it safe with the liver shield, you know, taking it, you know, the way you should sure. do it so you don't get I'll, a stone I'll, I'll just briefly go back to Jim because we're going to go to break and come back with two more segments and then do a full hour of overdrive, fourth hour now live. But talking to Jim, Jim, how would you just in, you know, 10 words or a statement describe the doctor group InfoWars Life Liver Cleanse? Man, it, it really, it saved me a lot of money from an operation like Dr. Group was saying. It's a... Uh, Cleans out my body where I smell more toxins coming out now. I have more energy. Um, it was a big lifesaver for me. I'm definitely going to try the OxyCleans now. Um, I'm a big, big advocate of uh, natural remedies, and, and I, I always listen to your show, and anytime Dr. Group's on, I perk up and try to take in his uh, uh, advice. And we are seeing uh, an increase in, in everything in our products, just like you guys were talking about earlier from bisphenol, T and A to these nanotech. Absolutely. Here. Now's the time to detox. Thank you so much, Jim. Peter Thanks, and Jim. others, your calls are straight ahead. I want to ask you this, but when we come back, I want you to answer it.
What does it mean? Because I'd say 95% of people have it within a couple days. About 80% the next morning, but another 15% or so. You know, it takes a few days like me. Some people, though, like 5 6% say nothing happens. What does that mean? They do this cleanse, nothing happens. We'll be back. All right, we're taking your calls in this segment. Five minutes in the next, then we're going to have uh, InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Duke come in and host a 55 minutes of the show uh, with, I think it's Leanne McAdoo and Jakari Jackson coming in with him. When David Knight's back next week, he'll be in doing the show. Uh, I'll be doing the fourth hour sometimes as well. We have a lot of special reports that are going to premiere in this new fourth hour. We're going to make this one of the most important hours of the transmission and cover a lot of the news that's just broken or that we haven't gotten to yet. And, and certain stuff I'll say, hey, I want you to cover this. Like the EU migrant crisis out of control, 10 mind-blowing facts about CERN. I'm going to give these to do, and I'm going to say, I don't care when you do it, just cover these during your hour. That way, some stuff we didn't get to that's important, they'll end up covering uh, in that fourth hour. When it is just another hour to pack more info in, take your calls, you name it. Peter in Washington, you're on the air with uh, Dr. Edward Group, the founder of the Global Healing Center. Go ahead. Yes, you can hear me, can't you? I can, brother. Thank you. Okay, fine. Uh, Dr. Group, uh, I've uh, been taking paracetam about 20 years on my own recommendation, uh, sometimes with uh, liquid uh, uh, choline nitrate. Uh, I have no uh, complaints, but I'd like to hear your opinion, and then secondly, whether it would be compatible with your product. Well, I'm guessing you're probably taking that for pain somewhere. Can you give me a little bit Paracetam, of... Paracetam, no, no. Uh, Paracetam, uh, the Nutril, that's uh, an, an early uh, um, smart drug. Came out over 40 years ago. You're not okay. familiar with okay. it. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't think there's, in, there's going to be any type of contraindications. I always recommend, though, whenever you're taking any natural supplement, spread it out as much as you can, uh, especially 30 minutes before or after any type of pharmaceutical or any type of other nutraceutical if you can. And just play it by ear, you know, so, test yeah, it out. Yeah, just play it by ear. The most important thing is... Anything that you're taking, you want to look and see if it has any toxic fillers or excipients or binders in it. I'm pretty sure you might have some excipients and binders in that. Uh, and those usually accumulate in the liver. So, again, it all goes back to how clean your body is and ultimately what the body needs to heal itself and, and reactivating the sure. body's self-healing mechanism. So, Well, I was on an airplane with a chemist. Very, I mean, I looked him up. He's well-known uh, flying back from Toronto. Uh, he lives in um, in California, and he runs major you know, pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities in Toronto. And he said, look, most drugs today were getting approved. You know, he said most of the drugs that were approved 20, 30 years ago, we couldn't get approved today. He said, if you take Tylenol and you drink alcohol, you might as well just cut your liver out. And he goes, and no one will tell anybody that. It's deadly for your liver. And there people popping this stuff all day, and they just don't know. He said Advil was fine. Uh, but people just don't know that just because something was approved before, and I'm not saying your drugs are, there's tens of thousands who could know them all. Uh, just, you know, research it for yourself. That's the great thing about the Internet is there's so much research out there and just check out what's credible for yourself. I know Dr. Mercola is on, he's a medical doctor. On Friday, we'll go through a lot of this with him, or we're trying to get him on right now. Thank you, Peter. God bless you. Let's jam in. Matt in Connecticut, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yes, I had a question for Dr. Group about retinal vein occlusion. Yeah, go ahead. In the eye? Yes, yeah. go ahead. Uh, retinal, retinal venal occlusion, if the doctor knows anything about it. Uh, well, usually any type of retinal vein occlusions uh, are going to be from a toxic buildup, and that could be from a combination of different things in your diet. So that's even more the reason to cleanse the liver. When the liver becomes congested, then you start getting particles, toxic particles into the bloodstream. When you start, that's also another reason why people start losing their vision around 40, at least their, uh, their close-up vision. They have to have reading glasses because you start getting tiny occlusions in the retinal veins and arteries. Hey, Matt, that was a great question. Got to jump. We'll be right cleanse, back in cleanse, one minute. Cleanse. We'll be back in one minute or 70 seconds. Infowars.com forward slash show. If you want to find the free feeds, spread the word. God bless you all. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, it's basically coming from political correctness. 
masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism, it seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition, controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of Infowars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. The first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, and if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this. But it's an important part to ensure with the collapsing economy and the hard times we're going into that we have the funds it takes to keep this beacon of truth exposing globalism and dehumanization operating. So join us this September 16th and 17th for what I believe will be the final money bomb that InfoWars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening. Because as Mahatma Gandhi famously said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. We are in that process of being massively attacked and in the face we're charging up, getting ready, and going in. Go to infowars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information. And in closing, I want to say this to all of you patriots out there across the globe that have spread the word about our operation and that have supported us. History is happening right now. The destiny of humanity is being decided right now. And Infowars, which you, the viewers and listeners and activists, stand at the heart of, is the engine that has made all this possible. You're not standing behind the info war. You are standing at the center of it. You are right beside us in this fight. And I guarantee you, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew, we salute you. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27-hour Money Bomb in defense of human liberty. segment with Dr. Edward Group. We're taking your phone calls right now. Then 55 minutes or one, two, three, four segments 
of radio slash TV with Rob Dew, host of the fourth hour.